Good afternoon, Professor Pierre Louis Lyons, Mr. Arnaud Barthélemy, the Consul General of France in Hong Kong and Macau, and the President, Professor Wei Kuo, honorary guests, colleagues, friends, and the fellow students. I'm Jian Lu, the Vice President, Research and Technology of the City University of Hong Kong, and the facilitator for today's lecture. First of all, I would like to welcome all of you to the France Hong Kong Distinguished Lecture Series. It's our great honor and pleasure to have Professor Lyons, Professor of the College de France and École Polytechnique, and a member of the French Academy of Sciences, field medalist in 1994 here today to give us a talk with the title on Ming Field Games. Before I invite Professor Leons to the stage, may I invite our president, Professor Wei Kuo, to say a few words. Professor Guo, please. Well, good afternoon. I'd like to uh, also invite uh, Professor Leons and uh, Pierre Louis Leon. And I look at uh, those who sit on the front row. Eight of nine speak French. <laughs> and so in the first row, the French is the most popular language. But I want to ask uh, uh, many students here, what is the co most common language on, used on Earth? Huh? Chinese? Italian? English? Anything else? Spanish? No. Mathematics. <laughs> yeah. You see, easy quiz, mathematics. Um, the mathematics uh, the come underpins the curriculum and the recognition of CTU. Not only the first row, many of the experts, and of course, Philippe Sillain here, and uh, Steve Smell, who's taking leave, and also um, this year's um, um, Distinguished Research Award, um, Philip. Um, is Philip here? Um, yes, I'm sorry. It's also, are the, are the, all these really made a significant contribution to the university. And our speaker today, Professor Leons, is, of course, uh, um, youngest um, field medalist, among those field medalist winners at CTU, and <laughs> which is a true statement, right? He laughs. And he's also an undergraduate of City University of Hong Kong. And I'm sure you're here to listen to his talk, not my introduction. But remember, the most common language that we use is mathematics. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Professor Kuo. So now I would like to invite uh, Mr. Arnaud Barthélemy, the Consul General of France in Hong Kong and Macau, to give an uh, opening speech. So Mr. Barthélemy, please. Thank you. Uh, well, I, I'm not very good when it comes to uh, speaking in mathematics language. Um, and I suspect not all of you speak French, so I will stick to English for now, and I will leave the mathematics to uh, people who know this language much, much better than I do. Uh, Professor Pierre Willion, uh, President Dear Weko, Vice Pre President Dear Jean Liu, uh, Professor Siale, Cher uh, Philippe, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I'm very pleased to be here and to have the privilege to take the floor just before one of the most renowned French mathematicians, a master of numbers, curves, and symbols. Actually, last time I took part in the France-Hong Kong uh, Distinguished Lecture Series, it was to introduce Professor An Cheng, who is, uh, as you know, a very famous sinologist, and she addressed the audience about the issue of intellectual history of China, and in particular, about Confucianism. Well, as you can imagine, I completely failed to provide any clarity on the matter while trying to introduce her. So I guess the challenge today would be even more difficult for me. So I will not even try to do so. And I will limit myself to, present, uh, to presenting our, our guest uh, today. 
But before I start doing that, I want to pay tribute to the France, France Hong Kong uh, Distinguished Lecture Series. They have been organized here in CTU, with CTU, since 2005, and they have become a tradition, and I think they have become an institution. And thanks to this initiative, CTU has welcomed some of the most prestigious, some of the most prominent French searchers. So let me uh, uh, um, mention some, some of them. Professor Jean-Marie Laine, who is a, professor, a Nobel Prize of Chemistry in 1987. Professor Cohen Tanuji, Nobel Prize in Physics in 1997. Uh, professor Jean Salençon, who is uh, with us in this room, uh, who is the former president of the French National Academy of Sciences. He liked his um, uh, uh, stay in Hong Kong so much that now he decides to come back regularly. Uh, professor Albert Fair, Nobel Prize in Physics in 2007. So you see, uh, 87, 97, 2007, uh, France has been, has been having uh, impressive results, so I think we should be extremely hopeful and optimistic for 2017. But let me, uh, let me go on with the, uh, uh, all these prominent uh, uh, people. Professor Jean-Christophe Yoko's Fields Medal in 1994 was invited here as well. And more recently, in May 2014, Professor Yves Brechet, High Commissioner for Atomic Energy Agency, and Professor Maxime Schwartz, uh, who is uh, former director of Institut Pasteur. And today, last but not least, Professor Pierre Willion, who won the, Field, uh, medals, the Fields Medal in uh, 90, 1994. I think this impressive uh, lineup was made possible for two reasons. The first one is that France boasts many world-class scientific institutions and prominent uh, world-class searchers. And of course, this is obvious when you look at the number of Nobel Prizes or Fields Medals, which have been awarded to uh, French nationals and including, of course, two this year. Uh, France this year won two Nobel Prizes, one in literature and one in economy. And the second reason why this impressive lineup was made possible is because of the commitment of one person, the professor uh, Philippe Cialé. Uh, professor, you are the father, if I may say, of the lecture series, and you have therefore been completely instrumental in boosting this scientific cooperation between France and Hong Kong. And of course, I want to thank also all the other actors and people who made this lecture possible. Of course, the City University of Hong Kong, CTU, which kindly host us this time, at it uh, hosted the previous ones. And I want to thank, in particular, its president, Weko, and Jian Lu, who is doing so much for the cooperation between France and Hong Kong. And I want to thank, as well, the Hong Kong chapter of the Légion d'honneur. Dear Professor Pierre Willion, born in Grasse, in the south of France, a city more famous for perfume and being close to the sea than for mathematics. When I, I used to go, I, I, I go quite often to Grasse, actually, and I don't study mathematics there, that's for sure. But you uh, pursued your education in the famous Ecole Normale Supérieure, probably inspired by your father, Jacques Louis Lyon, who was also a famous mathematician. You committed yourself to fundamental research in mathematics, and you presented your thesis to the University Pierre and, uh, Pierre and Marie Curie in 1979. Since then, you have been actively involved with the French Centre National de la Recherche uh, Scientifique, where you became Director of Research. You were appointed a professor at Université Paris-Dauphine in 1981. You are professor of the Collège de France since 1992. And since 1995, you are professor of applied mathematics at École Polytechnique. Well, I'm sure many of you are familiar with these institutions, but for any French person, uh, this is an impressive lineup of the most elitist, the most demanding, the most prestigious uh, French uh, institutions. Professor Lyon, you have made major contributions to the mathematics uh, um, in many areas, from probability theory to the Boltzmann equation and nonlinear partial differential equations. I'm really not sure I understand what I'm saying right now. Um, <laughs> but I think I will not be wrong saying that these contributions had a strong impact on many other areas of mathematics and various sciences, such as physics, mechanics, chemistry, or engineering sciences. And I speak under your control, uh, uh, Jean-Luc. Your outstanding contributions 
have won you wide international recognition and many prestigious awards, including the Duasto Bleuté Foundation Prize and the Ampere Prize, both awarded by the French Academy of Sciences, and also the IBM Prize, um, which is not awarded by the French Academy of Sciences, as you can imagine. Uh, most notably, in 1994, you received the Fields Medal, uh, which, as you all know, is the highest possible award for achievement in mathematics, and which is the equivalent of the Nobel Prize in other sciences. Member of the French Academy of Sciences, of the Naples Academy of Sciences, and of the European Academy, you have been invited to visit or give lectures in many prestigious universities in the United States, in Poland, in Japan, in Israel, in Switzerland, in Germany, in Italy, and today in Hong Kong. Well, for all these reasons, I want to finish by saying that it is a pride for the French consulate to welcome you here in Hong Kong, and it is a privilege, privilege for us and for the whole academic community of Hong Kong to be able to listen to you today. Thank you for your attention.